Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Okay. So that isn't explained. So I, was, I was trying to figure that out when I did, first played this, and it was kind of like... Um, was he trying to find this island? Was he trying to find where there was the car crash? I don't understand that. So, I think Paul was the driver, and Esther died. And then this bloke went to this Hebrides island to weep, and to make send letters to a dead person, and to uh, tend to a wound, because there's like, on this hill you see this, uh, surgical stuff. See, it definitely had some wounds. And then, you know, basically just to die or something. It's kind of quite bleak. But these ships, I, I don't know, I don't like looking at it like that. <coughs> um, you know, the other interpretation is, is like, who is this, this person, like this protagonist? It may not even be that person. And annoyingly, you can't go on those boats. I spent a long time trying to find a way to jump, and you can't jump at all, which is annoying. Actually, it's kind of okay. This is just kind of exploring. This could also be called. This could be like a tour, a tour guide game, promotional tour for uh, Hebrides Archipelago, Scotland, or whatever. I must say, doing a let's play is quite fun. Because if I don't have anything to say, then someone can just wa enjoy watching the game. Oh, I try to say things with substance. One concern is I definitely have a game channel, but it's, all my channels are different names. They aren't, normally it's like, this person's name games, this person's name vlogs, or whatever. But that's okay. Yeah. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits right, that was probably the most annoying comment in the entire game, because I was like, what? There's other hermits? And then, of course, I spent an inordinate amount of time trying to find a hole in the boat, which there wasn't, and there isn't. Um, now, there's writing on that. Did he write that? I think this guy just was on this island, but how did he get there? They don't explain that, and it's deliberately ambiguous, which is distressing to me. Like, I don't, I don't mind if something's kind of weird. Or, actually, that was my criticism of Alan Wake, too. Alan Wake was just basically... I, I don't care about spoilers. If, I'm gonna say, if I want to say something, I'm going to say it. It was basically, I think, as far as, as far as I know, as far as I can gather, it was some pond or some lake that caused reality distorting things. That's kind of just like a cheap whatever that phrase is, Deus Machina solution. It just kind of, yeah, those cheap, it's like all this weird stuff happens, and oh, the person wakes up, but it was a dream. Oh, those are lame. How did these boats get here? This is vexing to me. Or is this just an island that boats crash into all the time, and then people are like, oh yeah, don't need to worry about that boat. There's that crazy man on the island who Rates to Dear Esther. This chapter is called The Buoy. The way I've learned that word is buoy, B-U-O-Y, but this voice actor pronounces it as boy. So they said this boy, this boy. And that's over here. Which is, uh... Which, which is annoying to me. This is really, really beautiful, though. And... The classical music stuff got a little... You can start talking about the buoy or the buoy shortly. Got a little bit annoying, but it is is—it is quite peaceful, you know? It's kind of like a one of those, you know, hip, hypnotic sounds of nature. It's normally cheesy things, but as a video game. I like that some people question the fact that this is a game or not. It's only at night that this place makes any sluggish <coughs> effort at life. You can see the buoy on the area. Buoy. 
I've been taking to sleeping through the day in an attempt to resurrect myself. I can feel the last days drawing upon me. There's little point now in continuation. There must be something new to find here. Some nook or some cranny that offers a perspective worth clinging to. I've burnt my bridges. I've sunk my boats and watched them go to water. Now, that could easily be a metaphor, but it also could be those are actually his boats. Or what? Why would he have two boats? How could he have two boats? Uh, I feel more liberated to, to ask questions like this, because knowing that the game is kind of deliberately ambiguous, there's less of a chance of those being um, stupid questions, because hmm, there might be no stupid questions. So I'm in a little bit vexed that I don't have all my YouTube channels the same name. They're all like different names. The one I'll upload this to is probably now or non. Which is almost always just only entirely of games, which I really quite like. Um I like that channel. And my original channel, okay, was was kinda of, it's kind of a headache. Like this other kind of vlog channel I like. Anyways. I'll try not to focus on my own stuff. It's helpful to me and annoying to somebody else. Who put all this barbed wire up? Now, I read about somehow there's a, a, her, a sheep hermit somewhere on this island, or there was. It, it's, I don't like the idea of this, this guy just being like, here to die, an old mopey. You know, I don't like that. You know, you, you kind of hear his footsteps, and it's like... Uh, it's a little bit of a burden to the footsteps, no, knowing that that might be... What the hell was going on? Is this the way I entered here? I hope not. Oh, no. Good. Excellent. Oh, no. Shit, it is, I think. Oh, bollocks. Oh, dear. There is something cool about Let's Plays, is that it's, I don't know, about YouTube stuff. I'm just kind of rambling about whatever, because I'm trying to find the the corridor. Where is that? I think it's, gosh dang it. There's some things where it's only about the person, you know, like vlogs. That's about the person. The only reason why somebody watches a vlog is because they want to see what the hell's going on with a person, as a specific person. Um... It really it, annoying part is that I can't sprint. That'd be so awesome. But then again, if the whole point of the game is to kind of observe this countryside and savor the music, then uh, sprinting would be speed running. Speed run, dear dear Esther, it'd be funny. But yeah, so some things are kind of about a person, some things are about the, the content, the material. And I don't know, I've been kind of going through a headache with that. My original channel, I, uh, I don't want to sound like Dear Esther, like, randomly talking about stuff. <laughs> My original channel, um, it's kind of a headache. Like, I kind of did that knowing, without it wanting to be a YouTube channel. Like, I've got this one channel of vlogs, and I started it about a year ago, and it's just for, like, YouTube. You know, it's like, like, the audience I expect to be YouTube. The other channel was, like, a variety of little weird projects. Like, I did a video for Survivor, but I hate that reality TV show rubbish. <coughs> and uh, this other show I made, and I kind of chucked them up on there. But it wasn't, like, a channel just to communicate with YouTubers. Um, and that's more interesting actually. Alright, I gosh. Okay. 
Okay, hopefully this is the right way. Uh, that's if I could solve that problem, I would be that would be awesome. Of just having knowing where to upload things, upload audio stuff and video stuff. Uh, no, what the hell! Okay, so this is basically the start of the second part. <sighs> I, th this would be so much better if... I'm okay with the just exploring and no interaction and no inventory, no items and all that stuff. That's that's actually quite very peaceful. I kind of like that. But if you could actually see things on the island that would solve the ambiguity, the puzzle, the mystery of what the fuck is going on. And if there was some mystery that was kind of believable. Instead of what it seems like I don't know, some guy just going to this island to die because his wife got in a car crash. That that's the I most linear stones and you visited explanation. the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. <clears throat> okay, I think you already said that. Someone on a, I think Eurogamer.net. Instead, this was like Scotland the game, which is kind of funny. It's like, okay, I don't, know, I don't have to explore when the Scottish countryside's in. Okay, here we go. This is where you see the surgical stuff. And we are approaching the second, well, maybe in about five, ten minutes. The, um, I've begun my ascent on caves. the green slope of the western side. I've looked deep into the mountain from the shaft and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the area on the cliff edge. There is some form of rebirth waiting for me there. Alright, so there's the surgical shit. Actually, what the f What? Wait a minute. What the bloody hell? Either... I forgot... I miscalculated where it was located, or it, like, automatically rendered. What the fuck? That's kind of creeping me out. I almost saw it, shot, not for certain there was, like, the surgical shit here. Okay, well, that's weird. Maybe it's elsewhere, I guess. I've already had to tend to some kind of wound. Like, Amnesia, The Dark Descent, that you that is brilliant storyline. Like that you you're it's ambiguous, you're like, what is going on? Like I'm Daniel from London and you know, he's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. And you discover what happened in that game. The Bothy was constructed originally in the early seventeen hundreds. What the hell's a Bothy? By then shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his mountain tinted goats and died two years after his feet. There's no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. Alright, so some some reoccurring names are Esther. Actually, I don't even know if he even mentions Esther. Donnelly, Paul, I I forget who those are. I think Jacobson is the hermit or something. 
hell is this paint? Maybe this is where the surgical thing is. Damn it. When the oil lamps ran out, I didn't pick up a torch, but used the moonlight to read by. When I've pulled the last shreds of sense from it, I will throw Donnelly's book from the cliffs and perhaps myself with it. Maybe it will wash back up through the caves and erupt from the spring when the rain comes, making its return to the hermit's cave. Perhaps it will be back on the table when I wake. I think I may have thrown it into the sea several times before. The caves are really beautiful. Is this, this is beautiful. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. I don't like all the stuff about death in this, though. I would say it's kind of... Bleak. Wow, that is really beautiful, though. Wow, that's kind of cool. It would be cool to kind of walk around here. See, that's, that's what kills me. Of Like, I do work. A podcast, a video, a vlog. This my first full Let's Play. This one. And I'm always like, oh, if I should upload it to that channel, but that one has a different name, and, uh... What to make of Donnelly, the Lordnum and the Syphilis? I, I don't know. It's, it's clearly not how he began. But I've been unable to discover if the former was a result of his visiting the island, or the force that drove him here. For the Syphilis, a drunk driver smashing his insides into a pulp as he stumbled these paths, I can only offer my empathy. We're all victims of our age, my disease is the internal combustion engine and the cheap fermentation of yeast. <clears throat> what does that mean? Cheap fermentation of yeast? Is that bread? Combustion onion engine? What, 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 what? It annoys me when I don't understand things like that. And it's doubly annoying when they made that deliberately ambiguous. They found Jacobson in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. All around him, small flowers were reaching for the weak sun. The goats had adjusted happily to life without a shepherd and were grazing freely about the valley. Donnelly reports they hurled the body in fear and disgust <coughs> down the shaft. But I cannot corroborate this story. So, I think Jacobson was a hermit who tended to sheep and died. And then Donnelly, whoever the hell that is, chucked the body in some area. But so it's kind of like, what is this guy doing here? What, there are, it sounds like there were people here before, but obviously now it's completely vacant, except for this person. You start to feel like, towards the end of the game, and at the end of the game, and during the game, this person, this protagonist, this point of view, is not the storyteller. It's just like a could be a bird or an animal or, or just some climbing down to the caves I slipped and fell and have injured my leg I think the femur is broken it is clearly infected the skin has turned a bright tight pink and the pain is crashing in on waves winter tides against my shoreline drowning out the ache of my stones I struggled back to the bothy to rest but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end the medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Ah, these caves are really beautiful. Yep, that's as beautiful. Like, all these candles, totally unrealistic. Those could not stay lit. So, didn't buy that one. Alright, this is the end of this level. Um, so, this is the end of the second chapter. 